What's up everyone, my name is Blue and we are back with some more I don't work here lady posts. These women just can't understand that you are not there to serve them. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. And with that, let's get into it. Leave me alone lady, I don't work here. So this happened earlier today and I'm still in shock. I love I don't work here stories and figured I'd post this. Enjoy my first I don't work here story. The cast, me, an avid Pokemon enthusiast, E, store employee, TRK, Team Rocket Karen, the EP, Snuggles, the EV plushie. The story. So I, a 33-year-old male and a huge lover of Pokemon, had just gotten paid and decided I wanted to buy myself a Valentine's gift. I went to my local chain video game store, let's call it Video Game Go, because they have all kinds of collectibles. Having been there several times, I had seen a 24-inch EV plushie that I really liked. Perfect. Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon, and this particular plushie could also be used for cosplay. Having grabbed my plushie and paid for it, and the bag that would give me a $5 discount on any collectibles that would fit inside it, I decided to look around for anything I might want to get on my next visit. Now, as it is rather cold here in Texas, I was bundled up in several layers including rather warm, comfy sweatpants, a rather large ski jacket, a stocking hat, scarf, and had my backpack on, with Snuggles the Eevee in her exclusive Corgi Eating Noodles collectible bag. The employees of this particular video game chain store generally wear jeans, a t-shirt with the store logo or something similar, and a lanyard with a badge showing their name and the company logo on it so there is no way I could possibly be confused as an employee. Enter TRK. Cue Team Rocket encounter music. TRK wants to battle. Sigh. Snuggles the Eevee, I choose you! TRK, she had that typical Karen haircut and a look that screamed, where's your manager? Excuse me, do you guys have Enter game title here. TRK used confusion. It's super effective. Me. Um. What? TRK. TRK used clap. Do. You. Have. Enter game title here. God. Some people are so slow. Me. Snuggles the Eevee is confused. It hurt itself in confusion. Uh. What? TRK uses snap attack. TRK snapping her fingers. I want, enter game title here. I'm going to buy it for my son. Me, Snuggles the Eevee is still confused. Uh, I don't know, maybe? Snuggles the Eevee used shadow ball. It hurt itself in confusion. It's at this point I was starting to realize this lady thinks I'm an employee. How her tiny Team Rocket brain made that connection is a mystery to me. I clearly don't look like an employee. TRK, TRK used ROAR! How do you not know? Are you effing stupid? Me, Snuggles the Eevee is no longer confused. Whoa, lady, there's no need for that language. This is a family store. Besides, I don't work here. I just came to get this plushie. Snuggles the Eevee used charm. It's not very effective. TRK, don't lie to me. Of course you work here. You shouldn't be shopping when you're working. TRK used confusion. Me. Um, what? Snuggles the Eevee is confused. I'm now starting to get mad. 
I just wanted to browse the store. Lady, what about me makes you think I work here? I look like an effing bum. Why don't you go over to the counter and ask the actual employee for your effing game? Leave me the F alone. For those of you wondering, the F word is my favorite curse word. There will be times when I will use it every other word. My record is 29 F-bombs in a single rant. Snuggles the Eevee used Shadow Ball. It's super effective. At this point, E, who has heard the whole exchange, finally finished up whatever he was doing and can finally react. He comes over. Snuggles the Eevee used Substitute. E. Uh, what's going on here? TRK opened her mouth to start yelling at poor E. I've worked retail for most of my life and have dealt with Karens and entitled people a lot. I wasn't going to let her spew her BS. Me. This witch assumed I work here. When I tried to tell her I don't, she effing lost her mind. TRK. That's a lie. This bum just came over and pretended to work here. He stole my stuffed animal. I demand you throw him out and call the cops. E and I just stared at her in disbelief. Did she seriously try that crap? E. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You were clearly harassing this customer. I heard everything that was said. Also, I literally just sold this plushie to him. He even has the receipt for it in his hand. Now, please leave before I call the police. TRK, faltering now. But... E. Leave. Now, lady. Employee used hyperbeam. It's super effective. TRK has fainted. TRK, while storming out of the store. See if I ever shop here again. And you can be sure I'll be calling corporate about the customer service in this place. He and I looked at each other and burst out laughing at the absurdity of the whole situation. E. Sorry about that, dude. Is there something in the store I can offer as compensation? Me. Nah, dude. We're good. I have a new story for Reddit now. E laughed hooked me up with a store credit and promised to look up the story and upvote it. I took my EV plushie and headed out to get something to eat, still trying to wrap my head around the stupidity of some people. What our poster should have done is used a max repel to make sure he didn't run into any wild Karens out in the tall grass. Sound like an expert? You must work here. So, while I'm no arborist, my grandpa owned a Christmas tree farm, and my dad and his brothers worked on it when they were kids. So I know more about pine trees than your average holiday shopper. As such, it's not uncommon for me to go with my friends to help them pick out their Christmas trees. I was on one such excursion a few years ago at Lowe's, and I was elaborating on different types of pines and their needle types, how to check over a tree, etc. So just when my friend is making their final decision on a tree, a woman approaches me and asks if I can help her family with selecting a tree. Now, I can tell by the way she asked that she thought I was an employee, but she was polite and, well, it's Christmas time, so of course I go and help them. I spend a few minutes giving them the same rundown I gave my friend and get them to the Douglas fir section since that's my favorite type of Christmas tree. And I make a casual remark about the selection that they have, not we. And she gets this funny look. Wait, you don't work here? I cheerfully replied that I did not, but I was happy to help and that they really couldn't go wrong with two trees that I indicated. They tried to apologize, but I merely wished them a Merry Christmas and walked back to my friend, who had been watching the whole exchange with barely concealed mirth. See, that's nice. Everyone in the situation was polite and conscientious, 
and everything worked out for everybody. Now, if only the crazy Karen types would, you know, take a page from this book. And that's all the time we have today for these I don't work here lady posts. If you liked any of the stories, make sure to click that like button. And if you have anything to say about them, make sure to leave a comment for us in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more stories. Thanks for listening, everyone. Catch you later.